Why was the cornbread fired from his job? He was loafing around too much. What did the cornbread say to its mother? Where is popcorn? So clearly today we are making some classic cornbread. I will put the recipe for you down below in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, so my oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and the recipe does not specify what size pan to use. So I've got an eight by eight inch square pan that I'm going to grease and then we'll put our cornbread in that, but you could do cornbread muffins if you want. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to sift our dry ingredients together. So I've got flour, cornmeal, sugar, salt, and baking soda. And this recipe actually comes from the Clabber Girl uh, cookbook. So this is from 1931. And funny enough, the baking powder I actually have is Clabber Girl baking powder. So it's funny how that still works out. So baking powder in here. So this is really quick to throw together. So we're just gonna sift that together. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack our egg into a bowl, beat it, or whisk it, and then we're gonna whisk in the milk. Okay. Now we're going to add the egg and milk to the dry ingredients. Stir to combine, and the very last thing we'll add will be our melted shortening. Okay, and in goes our melted shortening. Okay, let me spray my pan. Okay, so this says it bakes for about 25 minutes, but again, that'll be dependent upon the size of your pan, and I'm not sure how long this will take to bake, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and check it frequently. It does say to bake it in a shallow pan, so hopefully this meets the definition of shallow. Okay, into the oven it goes, and I will see you guys when this is done. Well, what do we got here? Polly looks like Molly made cornbread. Would you like to see? What is that, Polly? He'll, he'll eat it. He'll get. Hi, everybody. We just turn off my bacon fan. That's weird. That's not that weird. It is. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, Dan. I made cornbread. You ready to try this? I know how much you like cornbread. All right. There you go. How much do I owe you for this flop? That's all the kindness of my heart. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's pretty good cornbread. Right off the bat, this cornbread is the least sweet cornbread I've ever had, which isn't surprising considering there wasn't that much sugar in it. But the cornbreads that I'm used to, modern recipes, usually the recipe on the back of the cornmeal box, is a lot sweeter than this. I'm, I think this is a nice change. Because mm -hmm. it is, yeah, it doesn't need to be sweet. And it's good when it's not sweet. So it has a nice crust. Now, I used an 8 by 8 inch pan. You know what? And it cooked for 20, it baked for about 20 minutes. You know what? Hmm. This cornbread is making me thirsty. This cornbread is making me thirsty. You love Seinfeld. <laughs> I do. <laughs> So yeah, it rose a lot. It's got a great fluffy texture, nice little bit of a crunch. It'll go nicely with dinner. Yeah, yeah, I'm making white bean chicken chili for dinner. Dan and I, our New Year's resolution is to eat a little bit healthier. So if you guys would well, like- Well, hers is. <laughs> if you guys, he, <laughs> he, he eats what I make. So if you guys are interested in seeing some healthier recipes that maybe aren't vintage, in addition to the vintage recipes, please leave me a comment below and let me know if that's something you would like to see. 
because I can definitely incorporate those types of recipes into this vintage recipe content. Just let me know. I don't know if that's something I want to see. Dan wants more fried food. But it is catching up with it. So, anyways, back to the cornbread. Delicious, perfect cornbread. And you could make cornbread muffins. You could do whatever you want with it, really. And I think it'd be great in a stuffing if you wanted to make a cornbread stuffing. Mm. That'd be great, too. Top this with butter and honey. That'd be good. There you go. You really don't have much to say about this, don't you? No, I mean, it's, cor it's cornbread. It's different than other cornbread. I mean, it, it's, a lot, it's a lot more moist, and it's not as, like, starchy tasting. This, and like I said earlier, this is from the Clabber Girl cookbook from 1931. It's a good cornbread. Look at that. She's really enjoying that. Look oh, yeah. Curls. I know. Yeah, and this is tested and approved by the Bureau of Food, Sanitation, and Health Good Housekeeping magazine. Well, there you go. And they still make Clabber Girl baking powder to this day, as you know, because I used it and I buy it. So it's mm. cool that it's still available today. There you go. Well, cornbread. Simple. Make it, eat it, love it. Really quick. It would put, took about not even 10 minutes to throw together, 20 minutes about to bake. So in half an hour, you can have a pan of cornbread. Do whatever you please <coughs> with. <clears throat> I got a crumb. Making you thirsty. <laughs> 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 gonna say. All right, so if you want to see more vintage recipes like this cornbread, then please subscribe and hit the like button. I upload new content every Friday, Saturday, Friday? I don't know what day I'm on. I upload it on the weekend when I have time. We're always taste testing vintage recipes, and we hope to see you in the next video. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Oh, yeah, Dan. You got that down. Hit the bell. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.